Good afternoon, everyone. There is a plethora of articles emerging right now saying that the grand solar minimum will be overridden by carbon dioxide emissions by humans. And they even ask, isn't going into a grand solar minimum a good thing? My answer is no. The last time in the 1600s, we burned people alive calling them witches because the weather changed. Although an amazing proxy here exists on the witch trials and witch areas in Europe got exceptionally cold. Also, the shorter growing seasons, usually food shortages, economic upheavals, starvation, rebellions, and wars. No, it's not a good thing, especially when our seasons get shorter and snow remains on fields when it doesn't normally remain there, affecting our agriculture. It's a global thing. Peru, earlier today, still shows cooling. And additionally, scientists now from the IPCC have underestimated ocean temperatures over two decades. Well, that's not a problem. Just change the data. Old data, blue line, new data, red line, because they said there was cold bias in it. And while you're watching the video, please remember to press the subscribe button for ADAPT 2030. The cat is definitely out of the bag in the mainstream media that they need to start talking about the grand solar minimum. They often substitute the word ice age for mini ice age. Those are two quite different things and they keep doing this again and again to confuse people. It's hard enough for people to accept a grand solar minimum and a mini ice age is approaching and intensifying. Yet when you say out full blown ice age, you just lose people right there. That's an instant trigger word. So please keep an eye out for this. And if that doesn't work, they're just going to come right out and say the offset of the cooling will be overwhelmed by the emissions of carbon dioxide in humans. And they even go on to say, well, isn't that a good thing? If it cools, it'll stop global warming. If we look back in history, uh, not. The person who wrote this article asking, isn't that a good thing? Looking at the world history in the 1600s, end of the Ming Dynasty, 30 years wars, plagues, famines, invasions... That's all due to the civil upheaval in countries because their food production was affected so greatly. Rome Glacier here, down into the villages, what did they do? They didn't think about science. No, they just started burning people and labeling them as witches, affecting the climate. This is the lunacy people went to because of the effects of the last grand solar minimum. The witchcraft, weather, and economic growth in Renaissance Europe clearly follows the witch trials as the temperatures plummeted across Europe. Different way to look at it here, it's a completely inverse. Whenever the trials increased, the weather had gotten colder. Study history, here's your blueprint. These areas here should be getting exceptionally cold, and these are the markers we would look for to see if there's blizzards, snows, and unusual cold events across these areas, because it happened there last time, cataloged through the 1600s. Another thing, no, it's not a good thing that the mini ice age is coming. Increased global volcanic activity, which will also put a lot of particulate into the atmosphere, including sulfur dioxide. We'll get into this albedo effect, and then our weather will be affected, cooling even faster. And then when rivers that are normally ice-free, like we're seeing in Europe now, start to freeze, and bays and seas are freezing in Europe, there's going to be snow for a much longer period of time on the fields when they normally plant, which will push back the planting season. And if you go back to historical climatology blog and look at what they tell about the 1600s, growing seasons were shortened, food shortages spread, economies unraveled, and rebellions and revolutions follow. And the writer seems to claim that it's just a a localized thing that only happened in Europe, but I will say absolutely no, this is a global event. You can trace the exact collapses of the Ming Dynasty into that same time frame in China. Just jump on Google and take a look at the Maunder Minimum. See what happened during that time frame. It's a global event. Paraguay temperatures were on the decline in certain areas over time since the 1980s. Yet here, yesterday, somebody sent me this temperature report. Paraguay continuing to decline. It's very apparent in the temperature reconstruction record going back to the 1600s. That the temperatures dropped. Empires across South America crumbled. And then we can take a look at all the astronomical causes. And then we get into these atmospheric feedback loops. And then you got the tectonic causes as well, all wrapped into one package. Quit putting out this misinformation that CO2 is going to outwarm the cold that is coming. We're still at 1998 temperatures. It hasn't warmed. So there's going to be no exponential warming that's going to offset this 
And speaking of oceans, now that the air temperatures haven't warmed like the IPCC said they would, let's just go back and you know what? The scientists have underestimated ocean temperatures for the past two decades. No problem. Let's just adjust the data. Old NOAA data on the bottom blue line, new NOAA data on the red line, at least half a degree warmer because they said there was cold bias in there in the measured records. Are you kidding me? A measured record is a measured record. Now you're saying it was too cold? What, your thermometers were broken back then? Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. You can see the full court press is on. They have to admit the grand solar minimum's here. They're trying to mitigate the effects that it'll cause and telling you not to worry about it when this cold hits and it encompasses the northern and southern hemispheres. I encourage you to jump over to Trade Genius. Talk to Bob. They're trading on the repeating cycles in history and how we're going to go out and which agricultural areas on this planet will be affected. He'll be happy to talk to you and explain how their trading strategy works.